calling a bat file on a Windows host from Zabbix. Okay, so I'm going to create this bat file and I'm going to put it here. New folder. Um, I'm just going to call it temp. And in that, I'm going to create a bat file. Uh, test.bat. And I'm going to edit that. Right at echo off. And I'm going to echo Sean was here. Right -o. So if I run that in command and I go test.bat, it says Sean was here. Excellent. So I'm going to call that from Zabbix agent now. Configuration hosts on this one here items. I'm going to create a new item. I'm going to call it execute bat. Execute bat. And I'm going to use Zabbix agent, and the key is going to be down here. It's called system.run. Okay, and the command will be ccon backslash temp slash test dot bat if i remember correctly yep the type of information will be text and my update interval will be 10 seconds i'll keep the storage period 90 days doesn't matter for one day now i'm going to put it to general so it's just easier to find let's uh, add that Okay, so execute bat system run C temp test bat 10 seconds, one day of history, Zabbix agent enabled. This host is behind a proxy, so I'm just going to just make sure that the proxy gets the latest config cache using that command there sudo Zabbix proxy r config cache reload. It's got a monitoring latest data and uh, there's nothing showing up under general just yet there we go execute bat the last value was sean was here history so here we can go so we're looking at the history now probably the last five minutes that's happened twice now so every 10 seconds i'll get a new value last five minutes there we go it's another one Let's set it that bat file to make it do something else. Let's echo ABC. So down here now, every ten seconds, it should be an uh, it should should next say ABC. There we go, ABC. One, two, three. Ten seconds. One, two, three. So there we go. A bat file just returning text. Let's make it do something a little more sophisticated, like return a ran random number. Okay, so let's let's echo percent random. Let's see what that does in command test bat. There we go. It's a random number. Now, if I just call that in here last five minutes there's two random numbers now but it's incremented it's 25236 25269 25302 that's not coming through as random so the way zabbix agent runs a command on on the the host is a little bit different than than say how a command is run just using cmd.exe see how the numbers are random there so they're appearing to be random here they don't appear to be random they're just incrementing 25 to, 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 to i don't know why that is it's something to do with how it's run inside zabbix agent but anyway how to get around that i figured out was to change this and this is really only applicable for this particular problem that you want to generate a random number so if I just 
do that with that that uh, it was squiggly minus one that will give me a, a random number and it's actually the time in milliseconds so I'm getting so that will appear random long story there we go it's three digits long now and when we see that in uh, last five minutes 337 the next one will appear random 639 and that kind of bypasses that weirdness that you get when you run try to get a random number through the Zapix agent host process anyway so it appears random now it's actually just a milliseconds really now that we have some numbers I'm going to show that in, in a graph format. So if we go down to configuration hosts, back to the server items, and we go execute bat, and we choose type of informa information being uh, numeric, unsigned, <coughs> update. Go back to monitoring uh, latest data. And we'll wait for that uh, change to, to come through. There we go. Execute bat. Took a little while. Last value 910. It now gives us uh, <clears throat> last value 910. And now gives us an option to see that data in a graph. And there we go. There's a graph behind my head. Like so. It's, uh, last five minutes. There we go. There's another value there. And... Other value there, and it's just going to draw a pretty much random line between zero and one thousand as time goes on. And of course, I can create a trigger on that, which I'll do really, really quickly. Just to refresh that now, mines about creating triggers. Triggers, let's create a trigger. A random number. And I'm going to make it a disaster. And the expression is going to be item execute bat. The last value is greater than 750. Insert. And Go and look at the uh, latest data again for execute bat. And there we go, and that red line there. That red line there, yeah, that's the trigger. So every time the number goes higher than 750, yeah, that's a trigger.